I want a video showing how you can state the transformations that turn the base function y equals x squared into each of the following. Now this is a vertex form equation. It simply has the vertex at not the origin like this one does, and it has been stretched or compressed as well. The number that you find in front of the x that is eventually squared is either a vertical stretch or compression. If the number is less than one, then it's a compression. We want you to write vertical compression by a factor of a half. It might make sense that if you're multiplying by a half, everything should be half as tall. That's what's happening here. Then you have this minus two that minus two is inside the brackets with the x. That's the hint that it is a horizontal change of some kind because it's inside the bracket with the x. And it is a shift or translation because it is added or subtracted from x. A horizontal stretch or compression would be if the x was multiplied or divided by something. So we're gonna call this a horizontal translation and minus two actually represents to the right by two units. X minus two in the brackets means you're shifting it to the right by two. I know it's weird because if you look at the axes, negative is to the left of the Y axis, but here X has to be two higher, shifted to the right to compensate for the minus two. And likewise, well, not likewise. This plus five, which is outside of the brackets, is vertical, but because it's added or subtracted, it's also a translation. This one is as you expect. Vertically, adding five is shifting it up by five units. There you go. It's probably worth about three marks for you. Shall we do it one more time? Yes, let's. Now, this three, is multiplied by the x that is eventually squared. It is a vertical. Oh, this one is bigger than one. So it must be a stretch. Remember, one is the threshold. Bigger than one is a stretch, less than one is a compression when it comes to vertical stretches and compressions. And we want you to say that it's a factor of three because you're basically multiplying your heights by three. Now this one actually has a negative out front and the negative manifests itself a different way. A negative out front with the vertical stretch ends up being called a vertical reflection. Some teachers ask you to write that it is on the x-axis and in fact I do for my classes. What it means is that instead of the parabola opening up like it originally did, it's flipped and now it opens downward. Now we only have one other transformation here. Here there's a plus seven inside the brackets with the X. Because it's inside the brackets, it's horizontal. Because it's added or subtracted, it's a translation. Plus seven means to the left by seven units. Now there's nothing added or subtracted from the end here, so there's no vertical translation like I had written in green above. So congratulations, you've now encountered all of the possible permutations for what the transformations could be when you turn y equals x squared, the base parabolic function, into another kind of vertex form parabolic function. Best of luck.